And I've got some great news. Uh, I think most of you will be really pleased to hear that um, I have built an Integromat plugin that is going to allow you to build flows, uh, automation flows, exactly like you've seen on my channel before without needing to learn how to use um, APIs. So you're going to be able to set up and, and manage everything yourself. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to do. Um, if I just come across and do growth hacking and essentially we've built out a number of APIs. We've got more coming like the website scraper that you saw the other day. We just wanted to get started with like the, the LinkedIn tools. So here we've got invite and connect and we're going to put in the LinkedIn profile URL. Uh, personal LinkedIn. So I'm, I am always run this off, off Airtable, but, but you could even like sync this into a CRM um, flow, like however you want to do it. This is why I decided to build on top of Integromat rather than making like a dashboard and, and things like that. Um, I much prefer working natively in Integromat. So then if we come over to LIAT and we copy over our cookie, if anyone doesn't know, that's how you get it. And we're just going to paste it in here. And then we'll just write a little message. Hi, first name. I'd like to connect on LinkedIn. Best. Nathan. So you saw how easy that is. Essentially, we've actually just built a, a LinkedIn bot um, in the simplest way possible. So this is going to pull um, LinkedIn profiles from our database. Um, but again, if you're using like a CRM, it's very easy to start off as a CRM being your source, sending over to our plugin. Um, Airtable's taking a little while to respond, but, and so yeah, and you can send directly over to our plugin from like CRM, Google Sheets, whatever tool you prefer to use. And it's just going to go around and send a connection request. So we are sending to, it's going to be going to Joshua. And currently, so this is logging into our LinkedIn account, navigating to the profile, same as any other API would, sending the connection request. And after we will get uh, the response. There we go, all finished. Um, obviously, usually you won't be doing this manually. Uh, we've got our output. Uh, so we can come in, collection. Here we've got all the data. It said, hi, Joshua, I'd like to connect on LinkedIn. Everything's been done. Um, so that connection request is now sent. Um, if we want to, we can just schedule this to run every like minute or every like 20 minutes, like however frequently you want to do it. You can do advanced scheduling to run at specific times during the day. Um, and then following on from here, let's say that we found an email address. We can easily just add in Gmail, send an email, um, and we could add that on as an extension to the flow. Uh, we could even get more custom and add in like a router and fire off multiple events. So let's say we're using that HubSpot as a CRM. Uh, we could go and create a new lead. Uh, I don't actually use HubSpot myself, but we could create a record. Is that what? Yeah, create a record. Sorry. Um, so this just shows you like how easy it is to um, to set up if we can get a response from HubSpot. And we, we would just connect into our, I haven't got a HubSpot account, but we would just connect in and then sync the data over there. Super easy, super simple to do. Um, it takes like five minutes to set up and essentially I can just schedule this to run forever. Um, so there's going to be a number of other APIs sort of coming out. I'm going to put a link in the description to the website. This has been like the most asked for <laughs> tool that I, <laughs> I think I've ever had. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy to be able to have finally built it and, and be able to, um, to offer it. So also if, if there are like, um, 
modules and tools that you would like to see. I've got a number of ideas already that we'll be pushing out and releasing um, into the tool that I'll be using my own automations and they'll be available for you as well. Um, but of course, if you have any ideas, I'd, um, I'd love to hear them. As always, thank you very much for watching. Link is in the description um, if you want to go and check it out. And uh, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts.